friend who've been training her in, or I've been training her in, and she's been doing a great job. She's driven this tractor before, but this will be her first time using the, the digger. And what do you think so far, Derby? Um, it's a little stressful to try to like get it back. Like Aaron said, like he has trained me on how to drive this tractor before, but it's been a while since I've had to. So just refreshing myself on how everything works is a little scary. Especially when you're not used to like driving big equipment, but uh, it's kind of like riding a bike. Sometimes it just kind of makes sense. Oh yeah, I think you're a natural. I think you're doing a great job. Oh, that's nice. She's nailing her turns as she's coming back into the, the pass on the headland rows and she's doing a great job. I have to say that I have a good teacher. Oh man, thank so, you. So, you just did a little test on me. Um, what do you need to do if you have to stop really fast? Yeah, just in case, like there's a situation where you have to stop and put it apart. She did great, nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. So. You, you think you're ready to fly solo for a little bit? Give it a try? Yeah, well I'll be right over there working on another project, so I'll keep an eye on it. Is there a horn on this thing? There is, right here. So do I just beat the horn if I need you? I guess. <laughs> But I think I'll ride with you for another pass or two, but I think, uh, I think soon here you'll be able to fly solo, but digging's been going good. The, the weather's kind of held off, but here we go. First uh, turn around on camera. We've uh, been using the brakes to make a nice sharp turn, but not too sharp. We don't want a jackknife. Nope. Not really good. Back up to speed. She's getting paid by the acre. Gotta keep it going. There we go. All right, well, we'll check back in a bit later. All right, everybody, it's time. Dara's gonna fly solo for a little bit. She's he's gonna leaving me to crash a tractor. No, she's not gonna crash a tractor. She's gonna be just fine. <laughs> she's gonna do great. You guys keep an eye on her. You think somebody who does YouTube would know good places and bad places to set up GoPros. So I feel like I should probably preface this by saying, no, I did not grow up on a farm. The only farm experience I have is with this family. Any skill I have when it comes to egg is solely because of my husband. If we were not together, I don't know if I would have ever learned to drive a tractor or plow a field. I mean, he's had me spread manure, back up trailers, big hay. Anything that you guys see me doing on the farm, I solely contribute to Aaron. I don't know if I would ever have the will to want if I didn't marry into an egg family. I'm very blessed that I get to experience these things. Sometimes I impress myself with my ability to do these things. I feel like a lot of people think that like driving tractors and running a farm in general, like you have to have like the right, the right mindset to, to do these things, which is true. Like you definitely have to be the right person to want to do these kinds of things. But I have to say that honestly, if you want to learn, you can. Anybody who has, who has the, the gumption to want to do this can learn. Yeah, it might take a lot of time to figure it out, but it's possible. Take it from me. I think that a lot of people from where we're from would consider me more of like a city girl. You know, I work an office job and, and uh, here I am plowing a field. But I, I mean, I did grow up in the country and all, some of my family members did farms. So like, this isn't like foreign to me. And all the 
me up with a hay wagon. Pretty much just told me to like figure it out. I mean, of course he was like, clutch and brakes. Here's what you gotta do. Here's how you slow down, but that was like one of my first times really driving a tractor. And I pretty much went down the farm road at like, God, I don't know. <laughs> it felt like I was going 50 miles an hour, but I was probably only going like 10 tops. I pretty much screamed the whole way. And I just like, thank God George was at the end of the road. So he <laughs> kind of just jumped on the tractor and was like, you're doing fine, like it's okay. But in my head I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna crash this, I'm gonna hit every building in sight. It was very traumatic. I was terrified. I've definitely come a long way from my first experiences of driving tractors and whatever, but yeah, he very much enjoys teaching me how to do things like this and then just like walking away while I'm still doing it. So I don't really have like an option but to learn. So thanks honey. Was push me to do my best. So <laughs> talking to a camera kind of makes you feel like you're talking to yourself. I don't know how Aaron does this. Kind of makes you feel like you're crazy in a sense. And I'm gonna be barren. <laughs> I'm making him walk so far to come help me. <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> what a good husband. Come save his wife. <laughs> How lucky am I? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> so, I got to the point where my passes have like touched. Yep. There's like one small section that still needs to be plowed on that end. Yep. So I'll just go back and get it and then just stay in this side and do what I have been doing, like turn wise, pass wise. Yeah, so you gotta do that loop de loop thing I was talking about. So you come to your triangle, like almost like a, a cancer ribbon, and then you go to the other side of your triangle. So I'll be alternating sides once I finish back there. Yep. Yep, because I suppose you probably got. You probably have something like this going on. Or you have a little on the other side of the triangle. I have to show you his little picture that you probably can't even see it in the camera. But he's like doodling different pathways that I'm supposed to be going in the dust. Like go get that little pass, but then once I'm done with that and I come back. Yeah, then you can turn around in the middle of the field. And so, do and do that thing that you're Yeah, I can kinda see you got like a little strip right on the other end. Yeah, it's like super tiny. Yeah, so just go get that. But then on your way back, plow where your tracks are. Guys, uh, is yep. this hill gonna be an issue for me? No, you just take it slow. We find this track is plenty big. So. Did you see that I had to stop like right after you left? Yeah, I adjust the seats, I think. Huh? No, that, that's not metal there. Oh. So as soon as I started going, it fell. They fell, huh? <laughs> you, you, she let you guys hit the floor, huh? So I told, I told them that uh, you think somebody who's been YouTubing for this long would know where to mount the GoPro and where not to mount a GoPro. Learning. Learning. <laughs> Trying. All right, love you. Love you too. I was also like trying to tell Aaron that like I feel like I'm going to get <laughs> judged for like how well I do. Not just like the work aftermath, but like there's nothing more scary than like having somebody who has been doing this their whole life watch you. And like now they're both watching me from afar while they work on something as well. So like I feel like there's a lot of pressure on my shoulders to make sure that I can like do well. And uh, of course Aaron reassured me that like it really wasn't like a huge deal. I'm doing fine. But there's always that pressure, you know, like having somebody with so much experience watch you. It's like a performance review from your boss. Except, like Aaron said, I'm not getting paid. So, the only payment I'm getting right now is experience. <laughs> I can't apply anywhere else but here. <laughs> Whatever. They've always been very kind and patient with me anytime they try to teach me anything so which I appreciate they've never made me feel like I was incompetent in doing any of these things so I that's been very nice but you know there's always kind of like that overhanging weight of trying to impress somebody I'm very 
Alright, we finished off the field. Got the chisel plowing done up here on top. Pretty soon uh, we'll be planting hay and we'll be growing and then Barbie can look at the fruits of her labor. This the start, you grow a crown. Big thank you to Darby for finishing the field so I can go help my dad. And uh, anyways, we're going to end off the video. Make sure to leave plenty of comments. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Be gentle with me. Yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, check out our other videos. Bye.